Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be covering the last two types of encoding or line coding schemes, which are the multi-level line coding and the multi-transition line coding. Okay, so multi-level line coding has three main types, the 2B1Q, 8B6T and 4D PAM5. Now 2B1Q basically means that two binary and one quaternary. That means there will be binary patterns each having two bits. Okay, so the data patterns will have two bits each and there will be one signal that has four different levels. So the two bit patterns will be represented by four different levels in a single signal. Okay. Now, when we come to 8B60, it means 8 binary B, capital B will always stand for binary. That means a binary uh, numbers, which are bits, zeros and ones. Okay. So, 8 binary means there will be 8 bits, which will be encoded using 6 signal elements. And each signal element will have 3 different levels. So, ternary means 3 here quaternary meant 4 okay so the second word after binary will uh, tell you how many levels are there and here there were ternary that means there were three different levels in how many signal elements in six signal elements okay so signal element is the smallest unit of signal that can represent data that can be uh, transmitted over a wire rather okay now the next type is 4D PAM5. So the full form is 4 dimensional 5 level. This 5 stands for 5 level pulse amplitude modulation. This means 4 dimensional means that the data will be sent over 4 channels or 4 physical wires simultaneously. Okay. And the data will be using five different levels to represent the bits. Okay. Now, this is enough that you have to know about the line coding schemes. Uh, representation might not be asked in your paper, mostly in this cases. So, let's come to the multi-transition line coding scheme. So, multi-transition line coding has one variation, which is MLT3 that stands for multi-line transition using three levels and for this there are basically three rules that you need to remember the first is that if the next bit is zero there will be no transition then if the next bit is not zero in that case the if the current level is not zero voltage the next level will be zero voltage otherwise if the next bit is one and the current level is zero voltage then in that case, the next level will be the opposite of the previous non-zero level. Okay, so these are the three rules that you need to remember for multi-line transition using three levels, which is a part of multi-transition line coding scheme. So that's all for today's video. This was short and quick. I hope you have understood all the line coding schemes. If you have understood these concepts and they helped you a little, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.